sit down. I've got something to say. This could change the future of K-pop fandom forever. Not to be dramatic. Not to anything. Not to be dramatic. But it could. It's definitely not about who can spend the most. It's really about who is an active member of the community. community. Video calls with artists. There's so much opportunity for the video call game to change. They want everyone to have equal opportunities too. Mm -hmm. Flying people out to concerts, hosting parties, tickets to listening parties, mm -hmm. video calls. The endless possibilities. Like it's crazy. Being a K-pop fan is very fun. We all know there's so much within K-pop. There is just so much that you can do, whether it's like bonding with people online. There's not just concerts, but all the events with it. It's all very fun, but being a fan in this day and age, and also particularly K-pop fans, it doesn't come without its challenges and some things that can be particularly frustrating if you're like, I'm a really, really, really big fan of this artist, but there's nothing I can do to help myself in this situation. Mm -hmm. Example one, Stevie, <laughs> let's say you're a really big fan of a group, they announce a concert in your town. So you get a pre-sale code, but like anyone can get that pre-sale code. Mm -hmm. You get it, you wanna get in first because you're a dedicated fan, you are gonna spend the money on the tickets and on the day of the ticket sale release, all the scalpers and general public nab up all the tickets mm -hmm. and you don't get tickets to see your favorite group. And this, like, coming from personal experience, this has happened to us on multiple occasions. As K-pop fans, we didn't manage to get tickets for Blackpink. We didn't manage to get tickets for BTS. Just imagine you'd been fans of mm. a group since debut. They finally, finally come to your city. Other people, some of whom would have been scalpers, got the tickets instead of you when you know you deserved it. And that hurts. But it doesn't have it doesn't have to be this it way have to be that way another massive one and this is obviously a very new thing that we have begun to experience but video fan calls everyone wants one it's such a dream and it's such an amazing experience to have as a fan of a group and something that's like so unique and personal and amazing but very few people get the chance and often it really feels like the only way you can do it is if you put literally thousands and thousands of pounds into it and buy hundreds and hundreds yeah. of albums not everyone can do that and it feels often like very unfair for the majority it feels fans. very unfair because you just think there's never anything i can do to ever ever win one you just kind of write it off like yeah. i'm never going to be able to do that yeah but it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to, to be, be that way. way another massive thing i mean it is amazing in very recent years so many more groups have been going on so many more tours visiting so many more cities yeah. going to places that they've never been before but there are still so many places where zero k-pop artists have gone if you're from there and you don't have the capability of traveling somewhere new or you know you're too young you don't have the money you don't have the means then you just have to miss out and that's really sad but it doesn't, doesn't have, have to, to be, be that, that way. way. Let us introduce you to the amazing app called Fame. <laughs> Woo! If you've followed us for a while, you know that we have been K-pop fans for over 10 years. We've been in this community for a really long time and we've had YouTube for a really long time as well. Yeah. We've been slowly seeing K-pop grow and change over the years. And we've got to this like amazing point where we kind of do have a platform that we can use to help our community and to make it better and to do some really cool stuff. K-pop needs to just be a fun experience. Sometimes it's like fans are just putting in so much mm -hmm. and they deserve a little bit back. With our platform, we want to do good. So we reached out to Fave because we saw the app. We saw how exciting it was. There are a couple of K-pop groups on there and then they added a teeny and we were like, Hello! We knew that Ateeny would love it and we wanted to help them build the platform specifically for Ateeny. What is Fave? Fave is an app that helps fans connect around the globe in their different fandoms. So we're specifically going to talk about the Ateeny fandom, which is one of the new fandoms on there. But there are other ones on there and you can join multiple at once. And it's just like a little town, a little gathering. Fans can connect, but you can also prove how much of a fan you are by like collecting points and you can become a verified fan. It is not about 
making money it's not about exploiting fans or the artists the ceo is freaking amazing she's the best she made this app because she has experienced all the same problems that we have as fans when you're in your bedroom at home buying a load of the merch you've got the posters up on the wall you're listening to the music like every single day but you can't go to the concerts because you know you can't afford it or you know you're still in school and the concerts are during school time <laughs> Infinite. <laughs> I think we missed a day of school for Infinite. I think we did. It really came from like a love of music and a love of artists and trying to like find a way to get around those problems and make sure that everyone feels like well represented yeah. and that their their voices are being heard even if they can't spend money yeah because i think that's the thing it can feel much more so now that you just feel like you're not doing enough as a fan when you really are like k-pop has changed so much since we were fans 10 years ago i know you guys probably look at us now and you see all the albums we have and we go to lots of concerts but it did not used to be like that that's pretty much only been the past two years and we're 26 now <laughs> we've been fans for 10 years we were in school we didn't buy any albums we could go to concerts that we could to be honest it was like one a year at that stage anyway yeah um and if video fan calls were a thing we would not have been doing them because number one we would have been in school at the same time mm -hmm. and we couldn't have spent thousands on albums so we get it and fave get it fave is a platform that just allows fans to feel seen, be heard. It's just a K-pop fan's dream. So as we mentioned, you can rack up points, you can become a verified fan, and then you can even become a super fan. That might sound really cool, but actually it, it really is super freaking cool because you can actually be rewarded for things as well. They sent an army out to the American Music Awards to mm -hmm. see BTS. They hosted a permission to dance party for a group of army. They got some Silk Sonic fans exclusive tickets to their listening party. There is endless opportunities here. The amazing thing about how you rack up points, it's not all just about how much money you have going to concerts or like buying lots of albums. It's just about talking about them online or streaming them, making fan art. There are so many ways to prove that you're a fan that other options we have right now as K-pop fans are just kind of a one-track mind. It's definitely not about who can spend the most. It's really about who is an active member of the community. community. It's so lovely because we obviously know as K-pop fans and especially as 18 -y, that like, 18 is so freaking passionate yeah. about being 18 -y. It's just so nice to know that there's somewhere where like that kind of effort is being rewarded. Yeah. I think that's why we wanted to show this to 18 -y. Unlike any other fandom, there's so much that goes on in our community mm. that deserves to be seen and spoken about and celebrated. So, here you go. While we're on tour, we're gonna show you guys in each of our vlogs how we're doing this. If you wanna know exactly how the activity logging works, you can see it in there. But honestly, if you just get the app, you'll see how straightforward it is and just how fun it is. Because if you go on and you have a new account, I kind of got verified like nearly straight away because mm. I already had so many things I could log. Yeah. Because it's stuff like like just tweeting about them. You can like get points every single day. So every yeah, time you do every it. Every day. Um you for can really wrap like them up. things that anyone can do. Yeah. And we know that they're gonna add like a streaks thing. So yeah. the more days in a row that you do it, the more yeah. points you get as well, which I think is really cool. And eventually everything will be integrated. So yeah. literally you can just tweet away listen to them on Spotify and then suddenly yeah. you get like little notifications that are like, bam, you just got well, yeah. 60 points today. When they integrate it, they're going to look at it historically as well. So if you've been an 18 -y since 2018 and you have been tweeting about 80 since then, it's going to go through your entire like tweet history <laughs> and give you points based on that. Mm -hmm. So like everyone, based on how long you've been a fan and how much you've engaged, you're going to get a lot of points. And the same with connecting YouTube, connecting Spotify, Apple mm. Music. You guys don't need to prove yourselves because your socials just like do the talking for you. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, there's this little bit called Marketplace, which is changing into Base, which sounds so cool. It's mm. going to be happening very soon, the update, fingers crossed. And it's just going to be kind of like a notice board where just any fandom related stuff a teeny can just put on there to make everyone aware. So you can like recommend your favorite YouTubers or a <laughs> shop that you really love or yeah. an event, you know, that's coming up. So like a cup sleeve yeah. and people will be able to, you know, resell 
on yes, there. Yes, if you want to resell um, photo cards, anything. Albums, yeah. whatever. And the, the beautiful thing about it is obviously because you've got that ability to like see if people are verified and it's like a closed community. Like, mm. you know that it's trustworthy recommendations yes. and you know that you can trust the people that are on there selling and stuff because everyone's going to be like hella background checked. Yeah. Everyone, you can like tell, you can literally scroll through their feed and see, oh, they went to this concert they bought this merch they've been tweeting about 80s today like you can literally see yeah. everything because we know that it, it it happens more than we'd like to see that people do get scammed or they're not like sure whether a certain shop is like safe to buy from or whatever but it's really nice that everyone can drop their recommendations and be like hey like yeah you know these guys are good as we shared earlier basically you get loads of points and then Sometimes there are very special prizes that can be won and the more 18 you that are on the platform the more that will help Fave to get opportunities for 18 so it's super super exciting. There's a feature that's in the works that we're very excited about and we think you guys will be too and that is essentially video calls with artists. It's literally the one thing that I think fans are begging for there needs to be a change there really does need yeah. to be a change i think it's one of the most talked about topic topics just literally not having access yeah. at all because this you know that you have to pull money in so much potential to give everyone access because there's so many ways that people will be able to enter it's completely customizable from the artist's perspective yeah and from like who gets to join yeah. and how how the whole thing is hosted yeah. like it's really exciting it's really cool and fave's whole perspective as well is that they want everyone to have equal opportunities too so there's so much opportunity for the video call game to change mm -hmm. and it's very very exciting and what can they specifically do for 18e literally i think right now as we're filming favor in talks with sony trying to come up with some rewards for 18e and that's where you guys come in essentially because the louder we are about this the more that we engage with it and the more excited we get the more we have fun on the app figure out how it works shout about it get as many 18e on board with it as possible then the more power fave have to try and get, get better rewards yeah. for 18 This is really the time now yeah. for us to like get super excited, mm. get super on board with it. And, and we're talking past things they've done, mm. flying people out to concerts, hosting parties, tickets to listening parties, mm -hmm. this future feature with the video calls, mm. there, the, the endless possibilities. Like it's crazy. The app itself is like just such a beautiful place for us all to be able to like really like build a community have a lot of fun have it as like this special little safe space for it is a safe space on its own that is already like so amazing yes but the possibilities and where this can go it's just incredible yes. and we are so freaking excited about it we have been dying to tell you guys about it and we've been working on this for so long so long <laughs> so like believe us when we say this is so cool and you guys and it's happening yeah like, like it happening. is happening we don't even know where it could go but we know yeah that it is going to be amazing their very first treat for ATV is this little collab that they're doing with us so if you haven't seen our video from yesterday we are going on a grand tour of europe to see 80s at every single one of their europe stops because we're crazy. The very exciting collab that we have with Fave is that we are gonna have these little badges. They're like special for the Europe tour. There's a limited number of them and we're gonna be taking them on tour with us. And basically whenever we see an 18 in the streets, <laughs> we're gonna a be- A wild sighting. Yes, when we see a wild 18 has appeared, <laughs> we're gonna give them badges if they want one. Mm. I hope they want them. Yeah, same. We're gonna have pockets full of badges, yeah. guys. So, so if you please. see us, and you want a badge don't be afraid to come and say hi and we'll give you a badge but we don't only want it for people that are going to be there because we know yes. that not everyone can make it we want it to be really inclusive yes so there is also a virtual version of this badge on the fave app yeah you can get points just for watching our vlogs yeah the whole idea of the vlogs is so that people that can't go can kind of like still feel like they're on the, on the tour. Us. We're hoping like people can watch the vlog, enjoy, rack up some points for watching and then the top 50 people that get points for that 
we'll send out a real badge to them too. So some even more people can win the tiny badges. I'm yes. so excited. We want there to be a million badges in the future so yeah. that people can collect them, like brownie. We could do a different badge for the next tour mm-hmm. and it, collect them all, like gym badges yes. in Pokemon. Yes. I don't know why I keep referencing Pokemon. <laughs> so yeah, we're so excited about this little collaboration that we're doing with the badges. Mm-hmm. Again, if you guys see us, you want a badge, go for it. But we're also just going to be approaching literally strangers unsuspecting a yeah. teeny <laughs> anyone that we see with a lightini anyone with words we're just gonna like waddle over to them and be like Psst, here's the badge a teeny <laughs> badge are we gonna get like arrested or something i hope you can see how passionate we are about this app it, it literally has the ability to change k-pop fandoms forever for the good mm. it's just a just happy safe space for individual fandoms not just a teeny but other ones as well. Mm. But we're very excited about a teeny getting on board with this. There's just so much potential for people to just, you know, feel rewarded for being a fan and feel included mm-hmm. no matter like where they are in the world or what their circumstances. Yeah. We can all just have a safe space to bond and hopefully also just get rewards for being fans as well. Mm. It's so exciting. So and we're so exciting. glad we can use our platform to be able to do this mm-hmm. and use it for good. Yes. And we know that 18 are just like ridiculously passionate and like amazing at voting, amazing at like fan projects. So like we know that you guys have the power to to get this done. And it's going to be si- I'm so excited guys. So go to the App Store, look up Fave, F A V E. I'm sure you know how to spell, but mm-hmm. just in case we can drop links. Yeah. Get downloading. Add us. We're how you doing. We need friends. So <laughs> drop your app below and we'll follow everyone back. Yes. And we're just so excited for you guys to kind of explore it and see. And yeah, we'll also be sharing while we're on tour how we're racking up even more points. We're already verified, 18 We already have over a thousand points, but we're aiming for 5,000. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yay! Thanks for watching. Thank you.